guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how I got this half skull makeup look for Halloween. I absolutely love the way it turned out, so if you want to see how I got it, then please keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So I'm going to be picking up the water activated paints from Snazaru and I'm just taking the shade white and I'm just going to be applying the white shade with a flat foundation brush. This is just going to be mapping out the top of the skull look and then you're going to want to make sure you do this quite slow because you do want the top of these lines to be really nice and crisp and then once I've mapped all that out I'll then be going in and filling in the lower half of my face. Now I've noticed when I have the paintbrush either too dry or too wet these paints don't really sit that well so what I did is in between applying um, the coat of the paint I just let the paint dry a little bit and then I went back in with another coat just to make the um, white really really bold I then took my Real Techniques Beauty sponge and this is a little bit damp and then I just went back in with some more face paint just to help blend the surface out and to make it look a lot more smooth and a lot more blended. Then moving on to the nose, I just took a really small flat brush and I started like sketching out the shape of the nose. So I went like in the top of the nose in a shape of a triangle and then I curved it around the shape of my nose. You want to try and follow the natural shape of your nose first and then try, try and start off like really, really small and then work your way to making the shape a lot more larger and then once I've done that I just went in and filled the shape in with the shade black as well. Now what I'm going to be doing is like lining the edge of the top of the skull. This is just to give it some definition underneath the eyes. So I'm going to be doing this on both of the sides. Again taking the black paint and you want to make sure you've got a really really light hand. Sometimes I was pressing too hard just because I am heavy handed sometimes. So you want to make sure you have a really thin brush and try and do it light handed so the lines aren't that thick. Then I'm going to start moving on to the mouthpiece. So I'm going to take a larger flatter brush and just start like blacking out the centre of my mouth. This is just going to make it look like we haven't got any lips. And I'm going to start doing the lines from the lips. The best way to do this is just literally keep your brush still and move your face along with the brush. That's the best way you're going to get these lines. I feel just felt like it was a lot easier. Then I'm going to go on to the cheekbones and I'm just going to be outlining my cheekbones. For this I do have a reference picture that I do keep looking backwards and forth at. It was just the animated one off Google so whatever one works for you. And then I'm just going to be working on the jaw piece. As I said you want to make sure you do have a reference picture because I found it quite hard. This is my first time doing it so a reference picture really really helped me out whilst doing this. And then I'm just going to shade in that portion just to give it a little bit more definition and depth in that area. We're going to be going a lot more darker and a lot more blacker in this video so you're going to want to make sure you're starting off with a light hand and making sure you're not going too black and shading too much at the first bit because as I said we are going to be doing a lot more shading and making a lot more darker throughout. Then going on to the teeth, I'm going to be trying to follow the natural shape of my teeth line. Again, don't press too hard like I did on these first two lines. I just didn't really want to rub it away so I just carried on but in the end it did look fine with all the shading. So as you can see I just sw switched up to a very smaller thinner brush and this helped me out a lot more.
Then once I've done that, I took a smaller angled brush and then I just started like creating a few cracks around the teeth just to make it look a lot more realistic. Now, literally, I was about to give up right here because as I said, this is the first time we're doing this skull look and I've always wanted to do them every year. I just feel like they're very, very hard and very, very tricky because of the teeth. Uh, there is a lot of detail to go in the teeth so honestly don't get defeated i just carried on and the end result i was really really happy so just try and create like little cracks and little you know different shapes around the teeth and then when it comes to the shading it will look better i feel like with a skull look they always look a little bit um not so good when you first try them out and at the start of the makeup look but then I feel like towards the end of the actual makeup look when you've involved all the shading and things like that it does actually look a lot more better so please 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 don't get defeated and don't give up. Now I'm just going to take a smaller blending brush and just pick up a black shade and just start creating more definition and more shade and then I'm just going to blend it out with my finger just to make it look a lot more smokier. Now I'm going to move back onto the teeth and just start creating um, some teeth like shapes if you want to call it. This was a little bit difficult as well because you just need to try and do a teeth shape but remember it is like a skeleton so it is very hard to move but again having a reference picture in front of you and looking backwards and forth it does make it a whole lot easier so I'm just trying to create a teeth like shape and then I'll be drawing a very faint line down the center of the tuft just to act as a, you know, that crack. You're going to make sure you have a little amount on your brush. Sometimes I did have a little bit too much on the brush so I just went back to my finger and just smoked it out a little bit and it worked completely fine. And again, make sure you have a really, really light hand and you're working with a smaller brush. I feel like with a smaller brush you can have a lot more freedom with it as well as where if you're working with a thicker brush you know if a line goes too thick you haven't really got anywhere to turn as with a thinner brush you can make it thin and then go to make it thicker but the bottom teeth was a lot more easier than the top teeth so don't get defeated just try and carry on So as you can see, I'm not really joining up the bottom teeth. I'm just doing a lot of shading and then smudging it out. This is just gonna add a lot more definition. Then moving back up to the eyes, I just felt it looked a little bit bare, so I wanted to do a little bit more shading underneath there. So I grabbed the black and just started shading. And then the shading didn't seem to be standing out. So again, I took this small detail brush and just created a very, black line above that shading and then I just went back underneath it and just shaded it out a lot more further and then I think it just brought the eye part to life. Then moving on to the cheekbone, I've just done the exact same thing what we've done to the under eye, just shading it and creating a darker thinner black line and then just shading it out again i just think it makes a lot more difference to the look and makes it look a lot more realer and adds a lot more definition and then i just went down to the jawbone and then done the exact same thing again so wherever you feel like you need a little bit more shading just go ahead and do it because as i said the deeper and more shading you have sometimes it does make the look look, look a lot more realer 
Then I decided I wanted some cracks in the chin area so I just took that same small brush and picked up a small amount of black eyeshadow and just started creating some cracks. You don't want to be too heavy handed with this because I feel like you need to start off light to make them look a lot more realistic. And as you can see I just went back in with some black face paint and I just started deepening up them lines a little bit and making them look a lot more deeper and like the cracks are actually really really set in deep into our chin. Then once I'd done that I thought I would shade the chin line and the bottom of my jaw. This just helps the chin look a lot more narrower. And then I just started creating some more detail around the chin area just to make it look a lot more sunken in. And then I started to shade around the cracks just to help them stand out a little bit more. Then the jawline wasn't looking too deep enough for me so I just went back in and just shaded them areas a little bit more. And that guys is the end of the result. I really hope you enjoyed watching this Halloween tutorial, I definitely enjoyed creating it. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this tutorial a big thumbs up and don't forget to follow me on my Instagram page. But yeah, until next time I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye guys!